to start to think about in those ways and to think about impermanence, and, you know, uh, immortality. And Emotion, the world that's created. For me, it's not just the action, but it's also the story. And we do still see him, you know, missing. Comedy is very, very dangerous these days. You gotta stay on your m pivot feet at all times. Stay somebody. Move. Keanu Reeves indeed stands out in the world of celebrities for his unique approach to fame. While many public figures' lowest moments or controversies tend to garner the most attention, Keanu's enduring appeal comes from his remarkable down-to-earth and humble demeanor. His authenticity and genuine nature have earned him a dedicated and adoring fan base. But maybe he has failed to earn Hollywood elites' favor. He claims to have observed genuinely sinister deeds committed by these elites, such as blacklisting Cat Williams, which led him to defy their authority. Hollywood has often been portrayed as a realm where humility and down-to-earth qualities are overlooked. The influential figures who hold sway tend to dismiss individuals' talents and instead aim to exert control or demand obedience. Keanu Reeves, too, has faced challenges within this system. Nevertheless, he has recently shed light on his experiences, revealing the pressures and attempts by powerful forces to influence his path in the industry. During one interview, he said, No, it sucks, but it's just the way it is. You you can have positive and negative experiences. But what I like about studios are the resources and the worlds that they can create. Obviously, a lot of good filmmakers work on studio movies. In a widely viewed 2011 video, which has amassed an astounding 16 million views, an unfortunate incident occurred. A woman unintentionally backed her Mercedes SUV into Keanu Reeves's beloved 1973 Norton Commando 750 motorcycle, while the actor happened to be inside a medical facility. The Beverly Hills police promptly arrived to document the incident, and Keanu engaged in a discussion with both the law enforcement officers and the woman involved. However, it's worth noting that some individuals have speculated whether this accident had more to it than meets the eye, suggesting the involvement of Hollywood elites. Roberto. Everybody, yeah. back, back up. You can shoot without the flash. You can shoot without the flash. Yeah. In a separate video from 2021, with 8.3 million views, Keanu openly discusses his motorcycle with his fans. This video had attracted significant attention, with viewers dissecting it as if it were a social experiment or a unique insight into the actor's life. One person wrote, I like the distance they keep. He does nothing to keep them at bay, but their respect shows in the way they stand back and give him space. And meanwhile, he's smiling, talking, reaching out to them. He's doing nothing to push them away. In a 2015 video, Keanu Reeves can be seen walking briskly through an airport, pausing to take photos with fans. Notably, he is traveling on a commercial flight and appears to have no bodyguards, even though his net worth at the time was estimated at $350 million. Once Joe Rogan talked about Keanu and he said, Funny thing, I'm giving total credit to Keanu, 100%. He started doing that and I'm like, what are you doing? He was like, I'm checking that. I give the credit to Keanu. I mean, that's awesome. It may seem unusual that people applaud Keanu Reeves for displaying basic human decency, highlighting how Hollywood has significantly diminished our expectations of celebrities. Despite Keanu's remarkable achievements in Hollywood, there is a side of him that strongly rejects the allure and extravagance associated with Tinseltown. The reasons behind his sentiments are anything but lighthearted. When you see him, he's dressed like me. Yeah. He's got like a regular watch on and sneakers. He's normal. It's, it's real weird. And people freak out. They're like, is that? No, can't be. Keanu's widely recognized reputation as a truly kind-hearted individual could easily overshadow the profound animosity he holds towards the unsettling and formidable aspects of the entertainment industry. Beneath his affable exterior lies a deeply ingrained resentment stemming from his genuine disquiet with the industry's superficiality and manipulative tendencies. According to him, there was an independent element that first adopted digital, but when it got to Hollywood and the mainstream, every role had to be looked at. People lost their jobs. Industries have fallen because of this transition, but jobs are also being created. It is nature, and it can be brutal sometimes, and it can be beautiful.
According to Keanu, the prevailing culture in Hollywood appears to prioritize power over ethics, prompting him to engage in a personal crusade against the darker facets of the entertainment world. The recent apprehension of Harvey Weinstein brought the shadowy underbelly of Hollywood's elite to the forefront, exposing the disconcerting truth of the industry. With numerous actors, directors, and producers facing allegations of misconduct, the industry's unpleasant realities were undeniably laid bare. I'm more like on the ground playing in the mud, and he's like flying and jumping and outside of buildings and helicopters. Keanu emphasized that the problem of exploiting young, aspiring women might not be the only issue plaguing Hollywood. He also drew attention to something even more disconcerting, the presence of sinister elements such as individuals with unusual practices like blood drinking within the industry. One thing I could say is that I share, you know, as you spoke about, the passion for movies and for, you know, we're, we're just, we're lucky to be there and we're just trying to have fun. And we have seen how this industry is blacklisting every artist who has talked about all these hidden secrets. Keanu also went through the same thing, and maybe that is why he is now backing up Cat Williams. Cat Williams has emerged as a prominent whistleblower, shedding light on the hidden realities concealed beneath the glamorous facade of the Hollywood industry. With a relentless determination, Cat continued to unveil startling revelations that have sent shockwaves throughout the entertainment world. And the fact of the matter is, we watched this again right in front of our own face. And the knew it was finna happen. He told us and we didn't know. He has not shied away from discussing controversial topics that some might find uncomfortable. And it appears that his outspoken nature has drawn the ire of certain elements within the industry. There have been numerous incidents that suggest Hollywood may be actively trying to distance itself from Cat due to his uncompromising stance. You often hear that truly understanding the inner workings of an industry requires firsthand experience. Comedian Cat Williams recently provided some intriguing insights that shed light on this notion. Williams hinted at significant revelations concerning Tiffany Haddish's career. According to Williams, Haddish's rise to fame may not have unfolded as naturally as she has portrayed it to the public. Those are just facts, sir. <laughs> how, how many, how many is that total? Nine. So you've done nine yeah. filmed comedy stand-up specials. Without ever getting financed or having a deal. The seasoned comedian holds the perspective that Haddish might have expedited her ascent within the entertainment industry. If you've ever questioned the authenticity of Haddish's persona, this revelation is not one to overlook. While stories of celebrities leading double lives have surfaced repeatedly, Haddish's journey to the pinnacle appears to be a unique case. Cat Williams left no detail unexplored in his disclosure. In another interview, this time with Jamal Fink, on his YouTube channel, Black Tree. Kat is said to have divulged more about the alleged dress-wearing scheme that you might be familiar with. Kat shared his perspective on the contentious issue of Kevin Hart wearing a dress in his SNL skit, underlining that Kevin wasn't the only one involved in this supposed situation. He claimed that Eddie Murphy and Jamie Foxx were right there beside him, keeping him company in what some have perceived as a controversial practice in the entertainment industry. Let's be very, very clear. It is possible that there isn't anything funnier than a guy in a dress. Kat highlighted the irony in the fact that a significant portion of the audience found it amusing to witness a black man wearing a dress. He believed that this reaction would not have been the same if the individuals involved were of a different racial background. Despite Kevin Hart having firmly established his stardom, Kat cryptically alluded to the idea that Kevin must have had his own reasons for taking part in such roles. And he expressed respect for Kevin's choices in this regard. In addition to his previous revelations, Williams exposed the existence of a secret society called the Illuminati, which he claimed faces significant opposition from within the black community. The implication here is that The Guardian, by indirectly corroborating his claims and revealing the society's name and some of its prominent members, has lent credence to his assertions about the secretive organization. He said, It is the most elite club in the world. This is the Good Club, the name given to the tiny global elite of billionaire philanthropists. The names of some of the members are familiar figures. Bill Gates, George Soros, Warren Buffett, Oprah Winfrey, David Rockefeller, and Ted Turner. But there are others too, like business giants Eli and Edith Abroad, who are equally wealthy but less well-known. While Williams disclosed significant aspects of the agenda he believed to have originated from the elites, he issued a warning to fellow black artists, advising them to exercise caution and be wary of the potential influence or involvement of the secretive club. It's not 
uh, necessary for us to store up that hornet's nest unless we intend to get stung a million times. Cat's revelation about his former idol may come as a surprise to some, but the next revelation is even more shocking. He claimed that Steve Harvey, everyone's favorite, has allegedly sold his soul to Hollywood. For some time, there was speculation that Williams had been blacklisted from the industry, which led to questions about why he hadn't achieved the same level of success as figures like Steve Harvey. It's worth noting that Williams and Harvey haven't been on good terms for over a decade, and there seems to be a significant reason behind their strained relationship. Well, you know, to be honest with you, Frankie, I didn't, I didn't know nothing about this concept. When the promoter told me about it in October, I shot it down, because that ain't how I've ever promoted a show. And his fans' support is just out of the world. One of them wrote, I believe Cat Williams, and I'm sure he is afraid for his life. I don't care how much he made off telling the truth. I'm glad he came out with the truth. Another one added, at least he spoke up and leave the guy alone. What about all the other cowards who ran and hid? Cat hid because his life is probably threatened, cut him some slack and nail the guilty ones, hitting on the wrong guy. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.